The world is changed. I feel it in the water. I feel it in the earth. I smell it in the air. History became legend. Legend became myth. And some things that should not have been forgotten were lost. Until... Under the earth, about 20-21 miles down, there's a couple miles wide uh, magnetic iron, molded iron, which moves in a speed and creates the velocity and uh, create a magnetic field, the magnet. Because of that magnet, we can live. Because of that magnet, the rain can happen because that magnet the weather is the, the whole thing is based on that magnetic field between sun and that magnetic field so long there is a relationship life is there when there is not it is not going to be life period no, no big deal the pineal gland is like the sun in the side of the brain and that when the pineal flares are in balance, then the human being enjoys bliss and comfort and success. If, and they're directly connected to the solar flares coming from the sun. So the, the solar storms are, they kind of go on and off the charts, but they're currently kind of off the charts, which is all part of this era at the, we're going into this 2011-2012 and again, it's a consciousness shift and the whole way this energy field is going to change, including the whole planetary energy field, is how the collective, if you want to say it like this, the collective pineal gland tracks the energy. So it's not that we're at the mercy of, of nature, it's that we have a large capacity to direct the flow of the physical phenomenon by the mental phenomenon. This is the, the change of the age. Prior to this, in the previous 2,000 years, the human beings didn't have that power. Acá, 5,200 years, and there's a great echo, a great echo from the Father of the Earth, which makes all the astros move. Entonces, estando la planeta Tierra entre ese eje, no podemos ver los rayos del sur. Estamos adentro. Cuando lo de la Tierra salir otra vez afuera, volvemos a ver el nuevo sol. Mucha gente se aprovecha del calendario maya asustando a esa gente con una palabra amenaza donde dice que ya va a haber terminado el mundo y al año 2012 ya se va a terminar el mundo entonces de ese sentido que les digo a todos mis hermanos no tengan miedo es como el año nuevo terminó el año nuevo hoy 31 de diciembre mañana primero de enero feliz año nuevo The Jumping Jesus phenomenon is my name for the acceleration of information throughout history. I first got, I first heard of that from uh, Alfred Gorzymski, a Polish mathematician. He took the unit 
at 1 AD as his basic unit to calculate how long it took for the information that available to human beings to double, and it took 1,500 years. I decided to call this unit a Jesus. So in 1 AD we had one Jesus, in 1,500 we had two Jesus. The next doubling only took 250 years. We already, you can see the acceleration factor. And by 1750, we had four Jesus. The next doubling took 150 years, and by 1900, we had eight Jesus. The next doubling only took 50 years, and by 1950, we had 16 Jesus. By 1960, in only 10 years, we had 32 Jesus. By 1967, we had 64 Jesus. And by 1973, 128 Jesus. And the latest estimate I've seen by Dr. Jacques Vallée, a uh, computer scientist, is that knowledge is doubling every year. But I heard that, oh, about five, six years ago. I saw something on the net recently. Somebody estimated it's doubling about twice a year now. Obviously, if we're experiencing more change now in a year than we previously experienced in a thousand years, we can propagate that trend into the future and see that a day will come when we will experience more change in an hour than we have experienced in the past 20, 30,000 years. In whatever form it takes, we seem to be on the cusp of a dramatic evolutionary leap into a deeper order of complexity than biology or biology plus culture has been able to provide. We're on the brink of something truly awesome and unknown. There has been more change since 1992 than in the previous thousand years. Change is accelerating. Invention, connection, adumbration of ideas, mathematical algorithms, connectivity of people, social systems, this is all accelerating furiously and under the control of no one. Not the Catholic Church, the Communist Party, the IMF, uh, uh, no one is in charge of this process. This is what makes history so interesting. It's a runaway freight train, a dark and stormy night. Humans are changing and there's nothing to be afraid of, but the facts are this world has changed many times. There was a time of Noah Ark, flood came, one, two, three, wiped out everything. Forty-two years it was never rained. There are more bones to be collected than human seen. Atlantis happened, certain part of the earth went one, two, three, nothing was left. Before early times, Africa, the plate split, it created India, Australia, New Zealand and Himalaya, all that area would you see. So it is not very comfortable that you are permanent, things can happen. But this time you are expecting little bit earthquake here, earthquake there, little weather temperaments, weather is changing those kind of things. But mostly human are changing. What is going to happen in the f this first 21 years of change of this age, neither the North Pole is going to melt, water is not going to come and Noah's Ark is not needed. Neither 42 years drought is not going to happen that you have to migrate. Neither the plates of the earth is not going to change to change the new world. Nor the planet earth is going to sink it to call Caribbean Islands. This is a new change. It's a mental emptiness. Because now is the age to know. In Piscean age, I wanted to go. Take me anywhere I want to know. Now it is, give me the experience. These calendar dates and these time codes are very important for releases of consciousness, releases of energy inside this planetary system. And we are from the school that if we can release more positive energy, we can create huge positive change. 
the energy as we move to this ritual day of 2012, look at it like this. When you take your oven dial and you go from 300 to 325, you can't go to 301, 302, right? It's a big click up. And when the, we come to these type of dates, it's a click in energy so that there's that much more energy available that wasn't available before. Now, what the energy is going to do is going to amplify your awareness. If you spend most of your time aware of your weaknesses, your failings, your bad memories, that's what's going to get amplified. We don't want that. We want you focusing on your strengths, your achievement, your successes, your capabilities, and your future potential to enjoy your life. We want that amplified. So what we do in the Kundalini Yoga is we go into the subconscious mind and we rearrange it so that the, the thoughts that are coming to you are thoughts that can be useful and productive, not thoughts that consume your energy waste your time and put you in bad moods. So this is why we want to pay attention to these num numerological shifts is because the energy gets amplified and we want that amplification to be in a positive direction. There's two religions on the planet. There's people who are positive, productive, and successful who want to help others be positive, productive, and successful. And there's people who are negative and destructive and want to help other people be negative and destroy them. There's two currents. Which one are you on? This is how the whole planetary consciousness changes, is each positive thought, positive action, positive movement you make, it increases the positive energy on the planet. Each time you focus on your negative side and your failings and your uh, disappointments and your regrets and your guilts and so forth, that increases the negative energy. All that in either direction, positive and negative is being amplified as we move into this new age. So these are teachings that will remove the negativity and allow you to amplify the positivity so you can enjoy. And that's one of Yogi Buddy's great teachings, to create a few human beings who can help humanity go into the new age. And it's predicted that we'll have 5,000 years of peace on the planet Earth, and this is the era that it started as you go deep into your own power, activate your own sense of self, use these sounds to cut away anything that's negative, and come to your own sovereign, imperial, regal sense of self, and then you can really enjoy your life. And that's what we want to do to counteract the negative forces on the planet and push humanity up into a whole other realm of experience.